Here is the picture I'm talking about. Hey guys, it's Kelton and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to those of you who have already subscribed. The other night I was going through my Twitter and deleting a bunch of old tweets that I had posted when I was like 16, 17 and really dramatic and annoying. I came across something I had completely forgot about and like literally erased from my mind. I then realized that I had to share this with you guys. When I first graduated high school, I went to Ohio University and studied human biology for a year. So I started going to classes and met my group of friends. Those people were the people that I was in most classes with because we also studied together as much as we got into trouble together. Every year at Ohio University, there's something called fest season. During fest season, there's a different street shut down each weekend. Every house that's on that street is having like a block party and basically is forced into hosting everyone from campus. There are police riding around on horses, SWAT teams walking around with their shields and those like little smoke bombs. People lose their minds. The year before this, somebody had literally lit a couch on fire and threw it over their balcony into the street. Whenever there's a giant party in somebody's house that gets too out of hand, the police will kick you out and everyone that's in that house literally moves to the next house or across the street. Me and my friends decided that we were going to get all hyped up and go lose our minds at Palmer Fest. We each had our drink of choice for the day and we're already drinking through the afternoon into the evening. We went out to go tear the city apart at 5 p.m. It was 5 p.m. and I swear I probably could not have even told you my name at that point. That's where I was here. We go out and have our fun tearing up the town, hopping around at the different houses, DJs, and people partying up on the balconies with the people who were down below that couldn't even fit in the house. Marissa was twerking, Madison was twerking, I was twerking. Marissa was twerking on Madison, I was twerking on Marissa. I gave a complete stranger a birthday lap dance in somebody's backyard on somebody's bar stool. The night carries on, we continue into the night, into the early hours of the morning, having our fun and just tearing it up. I woke up at 3 p.m. the next day, but everything changed. I look at my phone, People have texted me things. My roommate who was living in my house, Steve, had sent me a link to something. You guys, somebody had taken a video of me dancing so intensely with my friend Madison and both of us were obliterated. My roommate is taunting me with this video and keeps sending the link to my phone. I was so humiliated. Whatever, there's a video of me obliterated and dancing with my friend on YouTube. No big deal. That's not the problem. There were also Twitter pages that Ohio University students had started where people would go on and anonymously talk about their crush. People would post pictures of people making out at parties and raves and post them up on there and make fun of it. There was a picture of me and Madison on that page that said, I know this isn't a makeout, but this definitely deserves attention. Everyone's retweeting it. Everyone's favoriting it. The entire campus of Ohio University has seen obliterated Kelton and Madison dancing, losing their minds at Palmer Fest. This happened over the weekend, right? So I go back to class on Monday and I'm like, we're good. I was wearing glasses, I had a hat on, I was wearing different clothes than I usually do. I purposefully sometimes make myself unrecognizable when I'm drinking. I have told people my name was Pat and didn't even know it, so then it became my alter ego and it just kind of became who I was when I was drinking. Fast forward to Monday night, we're at a chemistry lecture late in the evening getting extra notes and extra help. At the end of class, the girl next to me was very friendly and decided to strike up a conversation with me and Marissa. She wanted to talk about Palmer Fest. There was nothing in my mind. I was not even slightly worried that she knew who I was. This girl says, did you guys see the picture of that guy and that girl dancing this weekend at Palmer Fest? Can you imagine what is in my mind at this point? There were so many things that had to have happened this weekend. Is she really bringing that up right now? People light couches on fire. People are smacking the police horses and going to jail for it. People are vomiting everywhere. People are dancing themselves into a vomit. How is she going to point out the one devastating, humiliating moment that I had that weekend? I keep it cool, acting as if I have no idea what's about to happen. Oh, like I didn't see it. Can I see it? I wanted to know what she was looking at and I wanted to make sure it was me before I ratted myself out and put it out there. She pulls up the Twitter page, she pulls up the picture, and shows me and Marissa a picture of myself 
dancing with my friend Madison. I shit my pants. I don't want people to know who I am, but I also need this girl that's sitting next to me showing me a picture of myself to know that she's showing me a picture of myself. I didn't necessarily feel like I had to tell her because she didn't know it was me. I said, that is a picture of me and that is my friend Madison. No, it's not. Shut up. No, it's not. Marissa, you see your legs in that picture. Tell her. She said that is him and that is our friend Madison dancing on him and she's back in the dorm right now. This girl starts freaking out and she's like, oh my god, I cannot believe that it's you. Like, I swear I wasn't stalking you. I just thought it was funny and I wanted to show you, but I'm so sorry. I wasn't particularly mad about it, but was I happy that a complete stranger was laughing and showing me a picture of myself and didn't even know? No. So after class, I walked out with a couple friends and held the door for them and then when she walked up behind, I stepped in front of her and I let the door close behind me and I never saw her again. Here is the picture I'm talking about. That was one of my most embarrassing, humiliating, devastating experiences in my short 23 year life. That was years ago when I was out doing my thing, thinking I was having so much fun. I don't act like that anymore. I try not to act like that anymore. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and also the bell because that's what's gonna tell you every single time I post a video. Keep your eyes peeled for next week's video and I'll see you soon.